What happens when you die and come back to tell the story? What if everything we thought we knew about death was wrong? Dr. Mary Neal, a respected spine surgeon, faced death in the most unimaginable way. And what she experienced will make you rethink life, death, and the afterlife. If you've ever wondered what actually happens when you take your last breath, Stick with me because this story is going to make you rethink everything. Dr. Neil was a seasoned kayaker, and when she was on a trip to Chile, she found herself in a terrifying situation. She got into a freak accident where she was pulled under a waterfall. She was upside down and she was stuck. She could not move. She was submerged under water that was nearly 10 feet deep, and she knew that she was going to die. She said many people fear what happens after you die, but when you're faced head on with the truth that you were going to die any second, she said it opened a door to a reality that she never expected. Imagine yourself in this situation, being stuck in a reality where you know that you are going to die any second. You are gonna take your last breath. How would you respond? Would you be calm? Would you be freaking out? Or would you surrender it all to God? Dr. Neil had a choice to make. She said even though she was underwater, she didn't panic. As a spine surgeon, she was actually trained to stay calm in extreme and stressful situations. But she said she realized that this was very different. She couldn't save herself. And at that moment, she made a choice to surrender to God. She trusted God, trusted his will, and something amazing happened. She said the moment she let go, she felt an overwhelming peace. truly really surpassed all understanding. She said she wasn't just calm. She physically felt like Christ was holding her like being cradled in the arms of a parent when you're a baby. She said that she knew no matter what happened, everything was going to be okay. She remembered one of God's promises in Deuteronomy 31 6. It says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Even in her darkest moment, she wasn't alone. Even facing death, she knew that God was with her. You might fear death, but what if like Dr. Neil's experience suggests that you could be calm in your final moments, knowing that you know where you are going to go and that you trust God with everything including your life. And if you're questioning that, keep watching because what happens next is going to blow your mind. As she was literally drowning, she said she didn't feel like she was dying. In fact, she never felt more alive. She said she was taken through a life review and Jesus was right there with her. She said even though she saw things that she regretted or was ashamed of, there was no judgment, only love, pure, unconditional love. She said in her life review, she truly saw life as God views it, Love, no judgment, no condemnation, no fear, just love. You might fear the afterlife, but what if this love awaits for all of us? Do you imagine reviewing your whole life with Jesus right there beside you and only feeling love, even though there are so many things that you'd probably be ashamed of, you'd be terrified of, things that would make you angry? What about in the end, when God has his judgment, it wasn't about just being judged. It was about him showing you love in those final moments. What would you do different today? As her spirit left her body, she said she felt an incredible lightness. She said she was greeted by what she can only describe as beings. They knew her, they loved her, but she didn't recognize them. Even though it should have been terrifying, she said it wasn't scary at all. And it was truly beautiful. She was reunited with people she didn't know and also loved ones that she remembered. We need to think about that for a second. What would it be like to be reunited with loved ones that you met, that you knew, that you still grieve today? Think about if death is just not the end. What if it's the beginning of a new life? Her experience challenges that. For some, it might make you rethink everything you've ever thought about death. She said as she was welcomed into this new existence, she understood everything. There was no room for fear, doubt, or anything that was negative, only love. She said, and in an instant, she was sent back. And with being sent back, there came a burden. She said she didn't wanna come back, she didn't wanna leave. But when she was sent back, she was given certain tasks that she needed to complete, including knowledge that her son would die young. Being sent back wasn't just about being saved, it was about her having a newfound mission, a newfound purpose that only she could complete, a task given directly by God. What would you do if you had a glimpse of heaven? You saw the loved ones that you lost, you were given some terrifying news, and then you were sent back. Think about it, can you even comprehend what that would be like? She said when she returned, she isolated herself from everyone. She was a scientist, she studied for many years in school. She didn't want this experience. She said she spent months trying to rationalize it, researching everything that she could, but she could find no explanation to change the truth that she saw. She said she's seen heaven, she felt God's presence, and she knew 
that it was real. Maybe you've wrestled with doubt about this, but the truth is faith is having hope in things that are unseen, not just things that we can see and that we can prove. Dr. Neil's story isn't just about a miracle of her surviving death or being sent back or seeing heaven. It's about living life every day with a purpose, knowing that you are awaited by an afterlife and eternity that is awaiting you. She said before this experience, she thought she was a Christian. She went to church. She'd even clap and raise her hands during praise and worship. But now, looking back, she realized that she was just going through the motions. She said her identity now is truly rooted in God and she is a new creation through Christ. She said, I know without a doubt that I am his beloved child and that I'm going to spend eternity with him in heaven one day. Her experience wasn't just about surviving. It truly transformed her life going forward. She said life is an incredible gift, but Death is only the beginning of truly living. He said there's so much waiting for everyone. And that is what she spends her time doing today, sharing the hope that she saw and telling everyone how to be saved through Jesus. What if you lived each day? What if you woke up tomorrow and started with the thought of eternity, having an eternal perspective, knowing that everything is gonna be okay, knowing that these troubles that you face will pass one day and it will be a small glimpse in eternity. How would you live? Would you live different? What would you do different? After sharing her story with multiple people, Dr. Neil's story eventually became mentioned in a movie called After Death. She said, it's not just about what happens after we die, but it's how we live now with the gift of life that God has given us and the grace of God of saving us through Jesus Christ. She said she hopes that her story will remind everyone that this is just temporary. Our permanent home is going to be in heaven with God forever. If you love hearing miracle stories like this, you're gonna love this next story. I want you to click here if you wanna learn all about a little boy that saw heaven as a child and was sent back with the mission from God that he has been fulfilling for over two decades. Thank you for watching.